who's ready to once again hang out down the street in Wisconsin with the Foremans? I know I'm not. But that's because I'm still bitter about that 70s show and how they treated Eric Foreman and that whole last fiasco of a finale. The central character Eric's not even on the show anymore, yet they continue without him. And then we're introduced to the new fan favorite, Randy. I'm joking, no one likes Randy, he's the worst! I didn't actually think it was possible to be less funny than Seth Meyers, but his brother proved otherwise. What was the topic of this video? Oh yeah, the 70s show's coming back in the 90s. Before I begin, if there's any Donna stands out there, make sure to hit that subscribe button. She'd be very appreciative if you did. I'm, I'm like really close with her, super close. So if you hit that, I'll put in a good word. Mila Kunis wants you to hit the notification bell. I'm friends with both of them. To be fair, I do live in Minnesota, so Jackie and I are basically neighbors. And remember that 80s show? You'd be the only one. It only went like a, I don't even think I got past the pilot. Anyway, this one though is bringing back some of the characters from the original run. We have Red and Kitty, and that's about it. Uh, the Foremans have a, uh, have a granddaughter that they're gonna be seeing, uh, the, the daughter of Eric. I don't know if Eric's gonna be on the show, probably not, knowing, knowing that Topher doesn't really care to go back to it, but it would be nice if he did, then I'd maybe have some interest. Red and Kitty are great, but I think their relationship with Eric was the driving factor here. It was fun when they would rib on Kelso and, and some of the others from time to time, but it was that central family that really did the job. The show's gonna be airing on Netflix. It's kind of doing the whole Fuller House situation. They get 10 episodes to start with, see how it shakes out with people, and then they'll move on from there. The show's gonna take place in 1995. I'm assuming we'll have some of those 70s show alums come back here and there, kind of like they did with Fuller House. So who knows, this could be a huge win for them. They're also going back to the traditional multi-camera shot instead of doing the single cam that we see a lot of nowadays. We're getting the traditional style, which personally I think it would have been kind of cool if they modernized it and did go single cam approach. I think they could have had more fun. The most creative shots in the original series were when they weren't multi-cam and they did that rotating gauntlet camera around the table. I'm not super pumped for this and this is someone that watched all of that 70s show, although I could see it working. We'll just have to wait and see as we always do. But I just wanted to share the news with you, give you some of my initial thoughts, hear what you had to say in the comments below. So let me know where you're at with that 70s show. Like the video if you had a good time, subscribe if you hadn't, and hopefully I'll catch you around. Thanks again for watching the video. If you've been a sub for a while, you'll notice I'm putting in a lot of work. Maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or hitting the join button right here on YouTube. Just shows your support. You can give like one buck a month, get access to some exclusive stuff. Feel like you're part of the community. 